As humanity approaches the singularity, technological advances in humanoid robots begin to accelerate. Of course, we're a long way from Netflix's altered carbon-style future, but that doesn't mean we're not doing amazing things in engineering, artificial intelligence, and robotic design. Today in this video, we are going to watch latest footages of female humanoid robots. Excited like me? Let's ring up the curtain to saying, hello and welcome to Robot Future, where we fill you in on every thrilling discovery and mind-blowing insights in the world of robots, AIs, and future technology. So consider subscribing and hitting the bell notification for a ton of exciting robot content coming your way. Now without further ado, let's get into the video. Gia Gia, your future employee robot. Guess who is known as China's robot goddess? Gia Gia is a humanoid robot created by a team from China's University of Science and Technology. Gia Gia is regarded as China's most beautiful woman, and her beauty is enhanced by her ability to converse with others and respond appropriately. While her speech pattern remains unsatisfactory, Gia Gia compensates by appearing remarkably human-like due to her eye movements and speech-lip synchronization. However, she addresses her creators as My Lord, which could simply be a Chinese cultural addition. Gia Gia has such realistic expressions because the special emphasis was placed on her eyes so that she can detect various gestures, emotions, behavior, and so on and respond accordingly. She also has speech generation algorithms which allow her to converse with humans and facial recognition technology which allows her to easily track different faces in a room. Using these technologies, Gia Gia could detect when photographers were taking unflattering photos of her and instruct them not to make her face appear fat on camera. As a result, Gia Gia's creators hope her interactions will become more human and less robot-like. The Ariza Anime Robot Receptionist Ariza, a Tokyo Metropolitan Government project, is a six-foot guide robot working in subway stations to direct passengers to restrooms and lockers, provide transit directions, and recommend nearby tourist attractions. She's wide-eyed, sharply dressed, and speaks Japanese, English, Chinese, and Korean. She was created by the Japanese tech company Aruz Gaming and the Chicago-based THK. A touchscreen monitor is also with her. Following a successful trial run at the Ueno Okachimachi and Tokomei subway stations at the end of December, the city plans a second trial at five stations in February. In addition, according to Takayuki Saito of the Tokyo Metropolitan Government Bureau of General Affairs, the city will continue to investigate how Ariza and similar robots could be used in the future to improve urban operations at various locations throughout the metro area. Kiyosuke Tanaka, a 25-year-old Tokyo resident, came across Ariza on his way to work and was impressed. The Ariza robot is a next-generation robot that reacts more smoothly and quickly than I imagined. In addition, the user interface is particularly impressive. Tanaka, the director of Japan Sports Hub's youth sports organization, believes Ariza will play an important role during the summer games. Tanaka points out that because most Olympic volunteers are unfamiliar with the city layout and subway system, Ariza's artificial intelligence will fill in the gaps to provide seamless support. The Android Acting Robot the first version of this android was released in 2003, and since then the Actroid robot has become increasingly intelligent. The design is more realistic, the responses are more human, and the voice work means it can read various scripts and languages it is recommended for theatrical use. Smart sensors and actuators allow it to respond to touch, and the various motors allow it to simulate breathing. Unlike many of the other robots, this one can be rented. Actroid is a type of android developed by Osaka University and manufactured by Kokoro Company Limited. It was first shown at the International Robot Exhibition in Tokyo, Japan in 2003. Since then, several different versions of the product have been produced. In most cases, the robot's appearance is modeled after a typical young Japanese woman. The Actroid Woman is a pioneering example of a real machine similar to imagined machines known as androids or gynoids, which have previously only been used for fictional robots. It can imitate human functions such as blinking, speaking, and breathing. The replie models are interactive robots that recognize and process speech and respond accordingly. Before going to the next female humanoid robots, like this video and subscribe to the channel, as it inspire me to create more video like this. The Kotomoroid TV Presenter Japanese scientists claim to have created the world's first news-reading android, which is eerily lifelike and has a sense of humor to match her perfect language skills. The adolescent-looking Kotomoroid, 
A combination of the Japanese words Kodomo, child, and android informed reporters in Tokyo of an earthquake and an FBI raid. She even made fun of her creator, telling Hiroshi Ishiguro, a leading robotics professor, you're starting to look like a robot. When asked to introduce herself, the pitch-perfect Kodomoroid was flanked by a grown-up fellow robot who got stage fright and fluffed her lines. Otonoroid, Otona meeting adult, apologized after a brief reboot, saying, I'm a little nervous. Both androids will be stationed at Tokyo's National Museum of Emerging Science and Innovation, interacting with visitors and gathering data for Mr. Ishiguro's research into human reactions to machines. In the future, we will have more and more robots in our lives, Mr. Ishiguro predicted. You can fly with my androids, the torso in a suitcase and the head in a carry-on. Mr. Ishiguro has a humanoid version of himself that he travels with to give lectures. It reduces my business trips, he explained. As technology advances, robots look and act more human, which makes us question our own worth. Autonoroid appeared to need rewiring before taking on her new role as this museum's science communicator with her lips out of sync and her neck movements indicative of a bad night's sleep. Mr. Ishiguro, on the other hand, insisted that both would be invaluable to his ongoing research because museum visitors will be able to converse with the droids and operate them as extensions of their own bodies. This will provide us with critical feedback as we investigate the question of what it means to be human, says the 50-year-old. We want robots to become more intelligent. After a successful debut earlier this month, SoftBank's Pepper, a chatty humanoid designed as a household companion, is set to go on sale in Japan next year for around $2,000. That's the same as a laptop computer, Mr. Ishiguro explained. It's amazing. Mr. Ishiguro's mechanical newscaster performed tongue twisters to the delight of their human counterparts as the line between humans and machines continued to blur. In the future, I hope to have my own TV show, Kodomoroid said. Erica At 23, Japan's newest news anchor would make her parents proud if she had any. According to the Wall Street Journal, Erica, a lifelike android designed to look like a 23-year-old woman, may soon become a TV news anchor in Japan. Hiroshi Ishiguro, director of Osaka University's Intelligent Robotics Laboratory and Erica's creator, said the android will replace a human news anchor on the airwaves as soon as April. Erica, the android, might be a good fit for this desk job. She can recite scripted writing and sit in a chair easily, making her about as qualified for television as most humans are. According to Ishiguro, her charisma distinguishes Erica from other artificial intelligence. Erica can converse with humans thanks to speech generation algorithms, facial recognition technology, and infrared sensors that allow her to track faces across a room. According to Ishiguro Laboratories, Erica can independently move her facial features, neck, shoulders, and waist, allowing her to respond to human speech with uncanny autonomy. Erica's creator has described her as so lifelike that she could have a soul. Others might describe her as strange, but Erica will not be the first eerily lifelike robot to captivate a large human audience. Sophia, the first robot citizen of the world Did you believe that only humans could be granted citizenship in a country? That's no longer the case. Sophia, a humanoid robot created by the Hong Kong-based Hanson Robotics, was the first robot to be granted citizenship in any country. Sophia is now a Saudi Arabian citizen, and she is a very popular robot. She was created to resemble Audrey Hepburn, a well-known Hollywood actress. She has appeared in interviews with the United Nations, The Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon in America, The British Broadcasting Company, and others. Mr. Hansen, Sophia's creator, believes she will be ideal as an elderly companion in nursing homes, a crowd manager at large events or parks, and so on. In short, he hopes Sophia will eventually develop enough social skills to interact convincingly with humans. These capabilities are built into Sophia through neural networks, expert robotic systems, natural language processing, machine perception, motor control, and other technologies. First, she employs machine perception to recognize human faces and understand various emotional expressions and hand gestures. Following that, various path planning algorithms are used to control her hands, eyes, legs, and so on. Sophia employs natural language processing to interact with various people and respond appropriately, which is extremely useful in interviews. Furthermore, all of these interactions are saved on a cloud network allowing for easy conversation analysis using blockchain technology. So what do you think about this female humanoid robots? Are you shocked or surprised? Let me know, you though, in the comments section.
Thank you so much for watching our video, and I hope to see you in the next one.